Hi guys, it's Lars Lehmann once again from the Warwick headquarters in Magnakirchen, Germany. I have here in my hands a beautiful Warwick thumb base. It's a bolt-on model uh, from the Master Build series. You ready to check it out with me? Let's go. Right, let's take a look at what we got here. We have a body that's made from Babinga, a Wenge neck and a Wenge fretboard with uh, 24 frets. And you want to pay special attention, guys, to this little feature here. There's a truss rod cover that's made from the exact same wood as the pegs of the tuners, right? The machine heads. They're Graftec tuners. Very beautiful, very smooth. And this is basically the same wood, right? Nice little feature there. Uh, we also have a Warwick Justin at 3, which is a great, great, great little tool um, since it allows for perfect adjustment of the string height in the lower registers. We also have what they call the IFT, the invisible fret technology. And what that is, is there's basically no way that any fret uh, ends can stick out of the fretboard. So it's just very, very pleasant for your fretting hand, right? On the other end of the base, we have the legendary two-piece Warwick bridge, right? Black hardware. And we have two MEC JJ pickups with metal covers. We have a, a Warwick uh, preamp consisting of a volume knob, one knob for balance, and a two band EQ consisting of bass in the lower ring and treble in the upper ring. Now, the pickups themselves uh, on the thumb bass have a very special position, right? Very much towards the bridge. Um, however, this bass has some very unique and useful sounds, as you will hear in a minute. Now, on the back of the instrument, what we see here are the four screws, right? Since it's a bolt-on construction. And we also have this beautiful matching wooden electronics compartment cover. And this little hole here, believe it or not, is a USB port uh, made to recharge the lithium battery. Now, this whole instrument probably isn't the lightest bass on earth. It's uh, 11 pounds, which is 5 kilograms. However, the amazing natural oil finish in conjunction with uh, these various shapings. See this? There's a little belly shaping, perfect for people like me. It makes it feel very, very comfortable when it sits in front of your body perfectly balanced. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be using a Warwick Gnome mini bass head along with a Warwick Gnome 2x10 cap. Okay, so I'm going to start out in passive mode, which means I'm going to pull my volume knob, right? And I am going to use the front pickup uh, at first. So here we go. <laughs> and kill a B string straight away, right? Check this out. Okay, here's both pickups on. And last, not least, the back pickup. Okay, next up, I am in active mode. I have the front pickup on. I have tamed the treble a tiny little bit and I have boosted the bass a bit. Here we go. Okay, here's a nice new metal slap riff. I have both pickups on, I have boosted the treble quite a bit and bass as well. Here we go. Use the bridge pickup exclusively to have a great bunch of harmonics jumping out at you. Check this out. Uh, bass and treble slightly boosted. <laughs> Thank you. 
The thumb bass with this very distinct pickup position can almost sound like a jazz guitar, okay? Check this out. I have both pickups on with a slightly more amount of the bridge pickup. Um, treble is tamed a little bit and the bass is boosted a bit. <laughs> Okay, so here's a little playing example to show you how even uh, this whole thing is sounding. Okay, I have both pickups on. Treble is at zero, which means right in the middle. Uh, bass is boosted a tiny little bit. <laughs> And there you have it. That was my review of the Warwick Thump Bolt-On from the Master Build series. Uh, for more information on Warwick Basses, please check out warwickbass.com. Oh, and here's one last thing. Um, Warwick Basses made in Germany are being manufactured in the heart of the Falkland area in Germany in a 100% carbon neutral production. Cool, huh? So that's it from me this time. I'm Lars, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.